Is stable diffusion too a bag of hot air and does it make you into a scapegoat? Hello my friends, how are you doing? So in this episode we have a lot to unpack because Stable Diffusion 2 is not great right now. It's a lot worse than 1.5. But why is that? Also, by the way, I have a link for you where you can test out Stable Diffusion 2 on a Google call up to see what kind of results you can get with this. Now, Emat, which is the founder of Stability AI, is telling us that over the last weeks and months they had legal issues, legal decisions discussions and this is why 1.5 was delayed but this is also why they decided to remove a lot of artists and styles and stars and also have a strong filter on not safe for work content for stable diffusion too and this makes it a very bare bones model right now but what they also say is they're going to improve it dramatically over the next weeks and months where apparently it is catching up to mid journey and being on par with that kind of doubt that to be honest but it also raises the question for me why didn't they just wait a couple of weeks or months if that could have gotten us a much better model but what they also say is we're going to give you a training method that is better than dream booth and easier to use where you can train the models and the styles and the artists if you want to do that now that sounds wonderful at first but what does it actually mean because if you look at it with the legal issues in mind what it basically means is now that we have legal problems you take the legal problems and we take the business side so if you want to train anything that's on you if you have any problems that's on you and that's kind of a speculation of me right now that that is a train of thoughts maybe they will put in the artist styles and stars back into stable diffusion 2 after they have resolved these problems another suspicion of mine is that they say well now that this is becoming a hot potato and we actually want to work with these big corporations like disney and other big brand names they want to have a clean model and then also a training method where these big corporations can train train the model on their styles and stars and artists because they own all the rights. So for them, it is okay. If you want to do it, you do it on your own time. And if you get legal issues, that's your problem, which at the same time means that Stable Diffusion is moving a lot more towards corporation and big money with the solution that they are building. If that is the case, I don't know. It's just speculation. Another thing I'm asking myself is what is the situation for Midjourney? Because if there are legal issues, they are clearly facing the same problems. Now let's have a look at the comparisons. I'm comparing Midjourney version 4 to Stable Diffusion 1.5 EMA to Stable Diffusion 2. I'm using simple prompts here. And the first one is Beautiful Woman by Wallop so that we have an artist name in here. Also want to point out here that all of the mid journey images are first rolls. With 1.5, I re-rolled at least eight times. And with Stable Diffusion 2, I rerolled even more. And Mid Journey has a style that is kind of similar and a very beautiful output. So here we have 1.5, which is kind of inspired by the style, but not really. And here we have Stable Diffusion 2, where this has nothing to do anymore with the artistic style. Now for the stars, I tried Porter of Trump Professional Photography. Mitchell is doing a tremendous job here, as Trump maybe would say. For 1.5, we have an image of Trump that is not bad, but not great either. And surprisingly for version 2, the quality of the skin and the photorealism is getting up, but the anatomic correctness is not as great. Next, we have a beautiful high couture fashion model on runway looking at camera centered. Again, Mid Journey is doing a really beautiful job from the lighting, from the face, from the fashion. 1.5 is doing a pretty good job. I love the dress here. Very nice. Also the hair. Now Stable Diffusion 2 came up with something that looks like a bad gaming character. And this isn't even a star. So I don't really understand why this doesn't have great quality. Next, we have the prompt Cozy House. 
Again, Midjourney is doing a beautiful job here, not just to create a very cozy house from the architecture, but also from the scenery, from the lighting, from the mood. Stable Diffusion 1.5 decided to go with a more photorealistic look, but the house looks rather cozy and we also have some warm lights here. With Stable Diffusion 2, the output also is nice. It also decided on a photo. It doesn't look cozy from the light, but from the living situation with a nice little garden, it actually is not too bad. Next we have the prompt classic car and Midjourney did a beautiful job here from the scenery. We have the wet ground as we see often in car photography. The car style is really beautiful. Stable Diffusion 1.5 also did a very nice shot, pretty artsy style. Now Stable Diffusion 2, I tried again and again and again and the car was either cut off or looking strange. So this is actually the best result I could get. Next we simply have the prompt horse. And Midjourney did a very nice job here. Beautiful scenery. We have the flying dust in the background. The hair, the mane is flowing in the motion. Stable Diffusion 1.5 created an interesting, nice picture of a horse. Not too bad. It's actually okay. And this is the result of Stable Diffusion 2. <laughs> I, I have no idea what's going on here. And this is not a star, it's not an artist, it's not a style. Why is this bad exactly? I don't understand. Now here I also want to show you a comparison of Mid Journey version 4 versus Test P from different star names. And I found that really interesting. Now what they are saying right now is they still have problems to fine tune version 4 to give you better outputs. Because you can see that there is a certain similarity. So it's not completely different from the hair, from the eyebrows, from the head shape. That is similar to Macy Williams, but not really her. Although in Test P it is clear clearly her. Zendaya on the other hand works really good in version 4. In version test P it doesn't look so great even though it looks similar to her. So it is pretty believable that they just have problems with the model. Now comparing these issues to what Stability AI is presenting us, here is another speculation. Because Midjourney doesn't have any investors and they don't want to have any investors, but Stability AI has investors. So maybe there's a lot of pressure from the investors to get a clean model because a clean model is legally a safe model. And if they are getting sued, this legal issue can run for years and can destroy the company and they will lose all the money. So maybe this is not just a legal issue, but also an investor money issue. Again, this is just speculation, but I wanted to put these ideas out there because this is not just their future, it's also our future and how we can create artistic works with these AI models. I found this Google call-up where you can use version 2 and as always you connect this and then you click here on these play buttons and wait until they are finished. Some of them take really long. Now when you went through all of that, you have your little test render also, you will be presented with this link here. When you click on that, you're getting a very bare bones web UI where you can put the prompt in here and then you can start to render. If you want to have a little bit more control, you can also put your prompt and your settings in here and then render it and get the output down here. Let me know in the comments what you think. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video and see you soon. Bye. Oh, you're still here. So uh, this is the end screen. There's other stuff you can watch like this or that's really cool. And yeah, I hope I see you soon. Uh, leave a like if you haven't yet. And well, um, yeah.